Yeah. All right. So I apologize if I'm looking this way. This our screen is this way. Um, but parallel, if see everybody, I just wanted to welcome each of you to our student presentation. So as you will hear, um, we had gone to Tikiya Point Hope to attend Kalaruk. And so our students will be presenting on what they learned and um, various things that stood out to them. So um book for calling in and also for our guests in our classroom. We have a PowerPoint we will show. So I will share my screen. Can you guys see it? I don't think so. Come on. Can you do it? So, for those who don't know, Kaharup is the whaling festival in Point Hope. And we have first up Misty. Pagla Rifsi, everyone. Um, I can't see the screen to change them. Oh, okay. Ovanga Minik Uvlak, Misty Plymel, also was gifted the Inipak Sine Tulorok. I have my daughter as well, Mamie Nukupagok. So um, with our visit to Pogrok and Point Hope, I was very enlightened and captivated by their traditions, their community, the history that they provided us. Um, very grateful for Anna and Steve Umnuk for their educational insights that they provided for us about the history and tradition of Tigrak and Pogrok. I was honored to get to meet family I didn't know I had while I was there. As you can see in the slides, these, um, these are my family that I got to meet. Is this one also? Mm -hmm. While we were there, we got to experience many things and um, the tradition that they share with each other and how strong it is and how long it's lasted over the generations. And I was very impressed at how they honor each other and how hard the women work to ensure that the men are taken care of in any and all ways. Um, I got the honor to assist with Anavuk and Russell Lane's crew um, doing several things actually. And one of the things that they really commended me for was the traditional way that I enjoyed making akutak. Um, we also got to enjoy uh, all, the, all the harvest that they were collecting throughout the year. Uh, they had a very specific way that they served on the third day. Everyone was served um, all the harvests from the land and the sea and the fowl. And it was very enjoyable. It was a very spiritually enriching experience. Thank you. That's all I have. <laughs> My name is Lauren Ferreira and I'm from Point A. This one? Yep. The one, the one with the fur, um, 
that's my first time like helping sewing for the um, for the captain, right? Or her daughter. Her daughter, daughter. Captain's daughter. And here's us cutting up some millets to make a uh, millet soup. Okay. You have to Where do I look? I know it's awkward. This one or this one? Yeah, introduce yourself. Mariner, um, I'm here in Indopak Studies with Jerrica Levitt. We just came back from a trip in Point Hope where we brought all these students to learn about Tikiot's culture and it was an awesome trip. Here's me and Jay, Jerrica's daughter in the sod house on the old town site. And here's me and Jerrica, my sidekick, <laughs> at the uh, Nalukatuk. It was very awesome to serve with Lenora Tazroyluk, my auntie in Point Hope. She honored me and Araya Stofa and Mariah Arak to help her with her whaling crew. And it was awesome to learn how to make a lot of stuff like Akutuk donuts, um, stir Mickey up three times a day. They do their Mickey up in drums. And it was so different from here. They put Uhuruk on top of the Mickey up and when they're done cooking, they put snow in there to let it stop cooking. And it was very different. Here's me and Araya. We got served um, Averok from um, Lenora's son, my cousin Michael Tezreluk Jr., I think. And uh, when they serve us this, they gifted us and acknowledged us at their Nalukatuk uh, up in Point Hope. And when they give it to us, we have to take a bite of it. It's like our Akikak here at Nalukatuk. And it was very awesome to be acknowledged in front of everybody over there. It's way different than how we have it here in Barrow. And it was very awesome to um, meet everybody there and get along with everybody with our culture camp that we have. Is that it? <laughs> Can I see you? Um, my name is Mariah Abath. I'm from Barrow, Alaska. Is only one smile? Um, the picture with uh, Lauren, Jade, and I are, we are cutting um, middle weeks. That was my first time ever. I was so scared, but I did it. Uh, we made nigelic soup after, and I made donuts. Mm. Yeah, it was very fun. And um, the second picture is all of them guys doing, uh, doing the nigelic attack, and I've never seen that before. I thought it was very cool.
Um, this picture is of Steve Umit of Tikia Alaska. I really enjoyed um, being around him and listening to his stories. Yeah, thank you. What the heck? Hi, my name is Araya and I live here in Barrow. I'm really grateful that I've got to experience this trip with this group of people. I'm very thankful for Mickey Ann and Jericho for allowing all of us to come together for this trip. I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot of new things. Can you see them? No. This picture right here is me and my friend Asisang from Kikiak, Alaska. We were hand whipping the tutu fat to make akutak. That was my first time making akutak. After we whipped it for about an hour, we poured, the captain poured beluga oil and seal oil into the bowls to make it thicker, more like whipped cream like. That was fun. I had a lot of fun making it. And in this picture is Mickey, it is me. We were helping serve. Is this the first day? Right? We were helping serve Mickey up. The first day of Pogaruk is like a Pogauti here. It was really different and I learned a lot. This picture is of the captain, Michael Tujorlik Jr. He was handing me and Mickey Avarok at day two of Pogaruk. They call people out by name and they pass the flipper to them. It's fermented. And here's me and Mickey trying it. <laughs> it was really good, actually. The black part of the flipper was really tender, and I didn't, wasn't expecting it to be tender. <laughs> that big. Yeah, they, he gave us a big slab. I was really thankful that we got to go. I learned a lot. And I thought it was really different how they do their whaling feast compared to ours. Yeah. <laughs> and Rhonda, you have two slides. Hello, my name is Rhonda. Um, I'm from Shack Tulik. I think I'm one of the furthest ones away that got to go. I'm very thankful. Um, I believe that. Our whole group was supposed to be together for this experience and I'm thankful for that. Um, it was an amazing trip and uh, just so much um, knowledge, so much culture and just history that they shared with us and how welcoming they were was amazing to me. Um, where's the slide? <laughs> It's the mouse on the side. Oh, it's right here. Um, this, these pictures are of Steve. Um, he was with us for several days and it was just amazing the amount of history that he um, shared with us and how he um, taught us um, why their um, Tikiak is so rich in history is because they've been there for thousands of years in the same place. And just that they have kept their history and their um, 
stories alive. Um, he shared with us that um, there's not a lot of written history, but it was all oral. And then he told us many of the stories and how um, the reason that they would do things. And it was just amazing to hear um, the, uh, the mask making when he drew the um, whale's tail first and then you could just see the face come out as he did that and the reason that they do that and the stories of um, the, um, I can't remember his name, the, um, the man who was uh, on the moon and had the animals and they would raise their bowl, the um, captain's wives would raise their bowl and ask for the animals to be given. And that to me was amazing to hear how they don't believe they hunt the animals. They believe that the animals give themselves to them. And that was just really neat to hear and understand their um, beliefs and how that works. And they, they have reasons for doing things the way that they do. And when he showed us the drum, how he would stretch the skin and the reason that he would wrap it the way he would um, going around to the right and they would wrap it 12 times for the 12 um, phases of the moon was very interesting that, that they have just steps and reasons for the, everything that they do was just, it was um, wonderful that he would share all of those things with us and I'm thankful for that. I think we'll see it. And then um, this picture here was uh, when we first um, went to the whaling captain's house, they shared um, the meat with us and it was uh, the first time that I had had it. So it was, it was so good and I'm thankful for how welcoming each, um, everyone was there. Um, you just felt like, um, not just that you were welcome, but they really wanted you there. And that was um, an amazing experience for me. And then um, when uh, Jericho taught us how to, Pila, is that how you say? Huh? Alila. Alila, the, um, uh, um, Nagaluk, it was just, it was the first time I had done it and it was amazing to just, this um, culture camp, I think is something that um, should be um, continued and offered. And I'm just, I'm so grateful that Jerrica and Mickey Ann, uh, you know, they were um, great with all that they did as well. And I'm just, I'm so thankful to have been a part of this and have been enriched by it. And I just, Thank you. So we had six students join us. We were going to bring two more, but they ended up getting weathered in um, one of the other villages. So they had to head back home. Um, so we are blessed to bring six students along with us. And it was a really great time. And you heard from the students talk about Kalaruk and how they celebrate it in three days, unlike here in Utqalvik where we celebrate in one day. So they got to be a part of the whole um, Kalaruk, including the preparation of it. So we got there, we were there for six days. Um, we went to Tikiak on June 9, and then we came back yesterday um, evening so they got to be a part of all of it which is really amazing so clean up book everybody for calling in and I wanted to see if there's any questions I know um, you can hear us but we can't hear you so if you have any questions um, I would ask that you use the chat the chat feature or comments, questions or comments.
Do they conclude festivities with an Inuvak dance? Yes. So there was a lot of dancing both outside and inside. So on the third day, does anybody want to talk on this? I could allow you guys to. Does anybody, on any volunteers? Did you want to? <laughs> they probably <laughs> won't hear. I'll have the students speak. <laughs> True. On the third day, we were in the gym before they passed out um, the rest of the meat. And it was very, um, it was just, in my home village, they haven't allowed back dance or drumming. And it was just amazing to hear them uh, do that and the passion and the stories they told within that. So we actually had dancing until 2 a.m. And then that's when they, they um, concluded and handed out the rest of uh their what they were sharing with everyone so yeah it was it was pretty awesome like we got there i think it was like at nine o'clock in the evening somewhere around there and then they danced until two and then that's when they um finished sharing with us okay another question is do both Plans celebrate at the same time in different locations. Who would like to answer this one? Who want to answer this one? Okay, we have a student. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did, but um, they had the blanket toss on the third day, and that was Kalmakdok side, the one with the one whaling crew that caught a whale and on Inusipupak, that was the six whaling crews that had it and they had theirs on the second day. And it, yeah, they were serving at the same time but had their blanket toss on different days. He said clean up the book. How exciting to have a group of students going to attend something so cultural. I think Tikiak is really traditional when it comes to cover. Yes. They are the oldest community in the in Alaska and also I've heard in um, the US. So they are very traditional and they have kept a lot of their traditional customs and um, our students really got to experience that. Any other questions before we wrap it up? Our comments for our wonderful presentations. Thanks, we'd love to see more pictures. And yes, Kendra, I took a lot and I will <laughs> put it on the on the drive so you can access them. <laughs> Looks like you all had fun. So cool, and then we could duck and keep you. Yes, it was. A, it was definitely a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we had a very wonderful group. Yes. Um. I also did a lot of recordings, so I had brought a little tripod. So, um, there's various recordings um that we can share later on, of various things. So. All right. I don't see any other questions, but I appreciate everybody calling in and our guests here in the class. So I appreciate you guys coming. <laughs> um, so we'll see you all next time on Navalu.